G'day guys and girls, welcome to another Arbor Age test drive. I'm Jamie Graham, I'm here with my good mate Shane Duck. How you going, Ducky? Hi, Jamie. Good to see you, mate. How's things? Oh, pretty good, mate. Mate, we've got an awesome new machine here from Bandit. Mate, what do you think of it? Mate, um, well, we've tested this once before and put it on a, on a great big radiator stump, which it smashed out and I was quite impressed, but um, I mentioned on the day I'd like to put it on a palm stump, so here we are with three palm stumps and it absolutely annihilated them. You did, mate. You, yeah. were, you were through those in no time at all. Yeah. So how did it feel, mate? What did it actually feel like when uh, you were cutting through? Mate, the machine is so powerful. Like, um, for a little grinder, it's it's got a 38 horsepower cola and it's a fuel injector motor. Perfect. And, um, yeah, just the power is amazing. Like, uh, tracking it up, you know, you've got to be a little bit, takes a little bit of getting used to. Yep. Tracking it, tracking it um, forward and back and with the cutter head, because yep. if you're not careful, you can be really abrupt with it. Okay. But um, it doesn't really matter so much on the palm, because it just eats it. Just destroys it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, mate. So what's some of the other features that stood out for you? Um, it's got a low center of gravity, this machine. It's, um, I think I've said that before. So um, it doesn't feel like it'll tip over too easy. It's very mobile. It tracks quite quickly. Yep. Um, I had a look earlier on, they've got a new belt tensioning system on this machine, as opposed to older machines we had to move the motor to tension the belts. Yep. It's also got big heavy duty bearings on the end of the cutter wheel and uh -huh. they're not they're not underneath the cutter wheel like some other models where yep. you're knocking off the nip, grease nipples and yeah, stuff all the okay, time. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, so they're out of the way. Yeah, perfect. So Ducky, when it comes to bang for buck on a machine like this, how does this one rate in? Yeah, this is, I think this is a Bandit's entry level grinder, yep. but um, for an entry level grinder, it's very well priced. And I don't think you can get this kind of horsepower for how this is priced anywhere else. Yeah, perfect, mate, perfect. And what about things when it comes to maintenance? I can see the oil filter and the fuel filter are pretty much right there. Yeah, that's one of the things I noticed straight away too, because I was servicing a wood splitter uh, not too long ago with a Briggs and Stratton motor, and to change a fuel filter, I had to pull the fuel tank off it. So this is, wow. this is the fuel filter right there. The oil filter's right there. All the grease points are really easy to access. So. Yeah. Oh, mate, that's, that's all, all good access, so you yeah. can't beat that. Oh, it's pretty handy. So Ducky, around here at the back of the machine, mate, the controls look like they're in a good position with some nice movement. How did you find it? Yeah, well, uh, it's pretty easy to swing left or right, mate, so you can view from both sides, depending on where the, where the stump's at. Perfect. So, not too hard to move around. No, mate, and, and good range too, right? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And mate, it looks like you wouldn't have any dramas with access getting in and around tight sites. She's pretty narrow. Yeah, mate, so this one's only, um, 74 centimetres wide, so okay. that's about the width of a normal swing grinder. Like Perfect. Some of the old other models, but um, this would get through a doorway too. Perfect, yeah, so if you needed to access a backyard and there was no passage down the yeah. side, mate, you go straight through. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Okay, so um, one other thing about this machine is it's only got eight cutting teeth, which, and it's using uh, the 900 series green teeth. So uh, you can get, a, I've been told you can get three turns out of those, so you, they're pretty easy to turn if you dull your blades, if you hit a bit of sandstone or something on site. It's really easy to quickly just loosen them off and spin the tooth. So you've got a sharp edge again. Um, and just having eight teeth is real beneficial as far as maintenance goes. Uh, it's more cost effective. And the other thing too is um, I've been told that if the motor bogs down, it recovers a lot faster just having the eight teeth because the cutter wheel is a lot lighter than the traditional 18 teeth. There's this one last thing also I didn't mention was um, it's got a safety bar on the front here to stop people from accidentally bumping into the cutter wheel, which is um, pretty handy. But it's very easy to lift it up out of the way if you're getting close, getting close to walls or anything like that. And also when you drop the cutter head deep into a stump, it lifts up automatically out of the way. So that's pretty handy. So Ducky, it's a bit of a beast of a machine all around, mate. Were there any other last features you wanted to mention? Um, yeah, actually there's, um, I think this, I don't know if it's banded or collar, I think it's a collar thing, but um, it's got a level on the machine here, so if you're tracking it up hills or down hills and you're going beyond 30 degrees, yep. then uh, you can have a look at the level there because if that way if you go beyond, beyond the 30 degrees and you're starving one of the um, cylinders of oil. Okay. So um, yeah, it's, it's more about engine preservation. Yep, perfect. And, and not a bad safety feature as well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, mate, perfect. Well, look, buddy, thanks for stepping us through the machine. No worries, mate. Thanks to the guys for Bandit for bringing it down and for everyone out there on site, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you stay really safe and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.